Praise be to your holy name on this Sabbath. I come to you, Father, in the name of Yeshua, asking for your love and your greatness to shine upon your Sabbath day today and upon your people. Let hearts be rendered to you and love poured out. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen. As I come to you today, I'm going to be reading from John again, the 17th chapter, beginning with verse 1. It says, After Yeshua had said these things, he looked up towards heaven and said, Father, the time has come. Now, he's quit talking to the apostles, those eleven, because Judas had already left the table and went to betray him. And he is speaking to the Father. And he says, Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Just as you gave him authority over all mankind, so that he might give eternal life to all those whom you have given him. And eternal life is this, to know you, the one true God, and him whom you sent, Yeshua the Messiah. I glorify you on earth by finishing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, glorify me alongside yourself. Give me the same glory I had with you before the world existed. So he was there, and he had glory before he came here, before the world even existed. I made your name known to the people who gave you the people you gave me out of this world. They were yours. You gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. Because the words you gave me I have given to them. And they have received them. They have, re they have really come to know that I come from you. And they have come to trust that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world. But for those you have given me. Because they are yours. Indeed. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and in them I have been glorified. He has been glorified in these men that he chose. Now I am no longer in the world. They are in the world. He's no longer in the world, but they, we, are in the world. But I am coming to you. Holy Father, guard them by the power of your name, which you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. Just as we are one. He wants us to be one with Him and the Father, just as they are one. He wants us to be one with them. When I was with them, I guarded them by the power of your name, which you gave, have given to me. Yes, I kept watch over them, and not one of them was destroyed, except the one meant for destruction, so that the prophet, prophecies might be fulfilled. 
But now I am coming to you, and I say these things while I am still in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in them. I have given them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just as I myself do not belong to the world. I don't ask you to take them out of the world, but to protect them from the evil. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Set them apart for the holiness by means of truth. Your word is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. On their behalf, I am setting myself apart for holiness, so that they too may be set apart for holiness by means of the truth. I pray not only for these, but also for those who will trust in me because of their words. He was looking down into the future, seeing us, that they may all be one, just as you. Father, our unity with me and I with you. I pray that they may be uni I pray they be united with us so that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you have given to me, I have given to them, so that they may be one just as we are one. I united them with I united with them and you with me so that they may be completely one and the world thus realize that you sent me and that you loved them just as you have loved me father I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they may see my glory which you have given me because you love me before the creation of the world Righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these people have known that you sent me. I made your name known to them, and I will continue to make it known, so that the love, the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I myself may be united with them. The other day I made a video to Elizabeth and the father said, just take it down. Because she's not hearing me right now. We have to become united as one. We are the bride. And being the bride, there's some responsibilities that come with that. One of them is totally walking in His love, in His presence. That's not only for Elizabeth, but that's for us all in unity as one, as that one new man. I see the hate and the anger on people that Satan has put there. It's a lie of Satan. And the bride has to be washed clean and pure and become righteous. She can't be out there judging people, loitering her self over people, but being a servant, humble, and un united in one to do the will of the Father through Yeshua. As Yeshua walked here on earth doing the will of the Father, so should we. 
I have seemed to wrestle with the Lord last night about many things. And I have come to peace. I really have. With all the stuff that's being said about me and others, he said, don't let it disturb you. Don't let it make you upset or angry or bitter or hostile, but to come in love as the bride should come in love. And when one of our hearts are outside the fold, we are to reach out to them in love, continuously loving them to bring them in. Even when they're out there with all their hate and their anger and their bitterness, they are afraid. Elizabeth, you're afraid. You're fearful that you won't make it. Well, with the hate that's in your heart, no, you won't. I'll be truthful. But I wouldn't make it either. We have to submit ourselves to Him daily. This is a daily walk, not just a moment to, to moment of uh, the world and seeing the world. And then all of a sudden, oh, oh maybe I need to go worship the Father. No, it's, it's a daily second by second walk in the Spirit worshiping the Father and praising Him and glorifying His holy name above all names and loving and forgiving people at all times. You know, um, that's what Elijah was sent for. Uh, he really was. He was sent to love, to put the love in the family's heart to draw the father back to the the child it says here in Malachi uh, behold I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of that great and dreadful day of the Lord and he will turn the hearts of the fathers to the child and the heart of the child to the father, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So, Elijah is coming back to earth. And when he does come back, it is to correct people to come into that knowledge of love again. Not condemnation, but bringing the, the parents back with the children in love, in trust, in obedience. To whom? To the Father. For if they are not walking and loving each other, then they will be a curse. So, today, meditate on the Sabbath day message that He has given me to give you. He spoke, Yeshua spoke these words Himself, as I read, not, not me, but Yeshua. He wants us to be one in unity with Him, in love, in Him, praying for each other. Praying mightily for each other. Blessings in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach upon this beautiful Sabbath day. Praise His holy name.